Now let's talk about challenge 35. So when I hit launch, it goes right here. This looks like a spiral that's dashed and these dash marks are defined. The marbles will hit them. How did they make the spiral to begin with? Instead of Y and X, we're gonna use the variables R and theta. We we'll just say R equals theta and it makes a spiral. What these two letters mean, so instead of X and Y, like the X axis, Y axis, this is R and theta. What it means is you have a radius of R at any given theta. So when we start at an angle of zero, our R is zero. As our angle grows, our radius gets longer and longer and longer. And that keeps happening. As our angle keeps growing larger and larger, our radius keeps getting longer and longer. And that is what forms this. The spiral that I just made is different than theirs. So we can fix that by throwing a multiplier in front of the theta and we can just make it an A and now we can slide it. Now when we drag it, it can really cleanly see it grow or shrink. And so if it's really big, then the spiral blows up really fast. And as we shrink the A down, we can get to where they're at. And it looks like... Their formula is R equals 0.25 theta. Now what happens if we hit launch? Oh, so mine's bigger than theirs. If I turn mine off, it's bigger than theirs is. So I need to cut it. A circle is equal to two pi radians. So every rotation of a circle is going to be two pi. So we want to cut this after one, two, three rotations. So we're going to cut it at six pi and that should stop right where that star is. And yep, there it is. One rotation, two rotation, three rotations. Now when I hit launch, this should solve it. And it didn't. Let's try it one more time. That's weird. There we go. So I don't understand. This just has a random element to it. This is how to do a spiral. You just set the radius equal to a multiplier times your angle theta. You can create spirals. Hope you guys like this one. If you want to play this game, go to andymath.com slash desmos links. You guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you soon.